time one one and I just started a Facebook Live because I'm just sitting here imbibing. I'm enjoying my evening. And I just finished um, a container magic class. If you guys have not taken my container magic class, you might want to think about doing it. We had a great time. I actually have some Chipotle over here. These ladies are still hard at work. I'm going to turn this around and see what y'all see there. Oh, putting herbs and roots for the witch boxes. Yeah. And so what we have here okay. is... It's like, it's like, there's some of the ingredients that go into the basic witch boxes and she's counting away. <laughs> it's like you, like you playing go fish <laughs> talking about, do you have a roux? I need a roux. <laughs> you got one? No, go fish. <laughs> so they're sitting here and putting all these it's lovely, crazy. and I'm explaining to them like hyssop is used to cleanse you for, from your personal uh, sins and ick. Mugwort is excellent for mm -hmm. a spell work, increasing psychic phenomena. Stevia is a natural sweetener. Rue is another one of those that cleanses you. They moving real fast. Okay. <laughs> Woodruff, Master of the Woods, is excellent if you want to be a master. I was doing container magic tonight, so I was teaching them that, you know, containers aren't just limited to honey jars and stuff. You can also do a lamp. And I was showing them about how you could get, I have a video on YouTube about how to make a magical lamp and how you can get all this stuff to make a magical lamp. Um, so as you can see here, what is that? Oh, Damiana. Damiana is an excellent love herb. It smells really good too. I wonder if pe people eat Damiana. They have to because a lot of these herb stores sell it. You can't just be like using it for like. I, I will check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But wouldn't it be nice so just to eat love? End up in a hospital yes. or in the bathroom. Listen, listen to Auntie Shadow. <laughs> or in the bathroom. What is this? Is this Florida water? Y'all yeah, making Florida water? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is a premix of all of the stuff that's in my recipe for my Florida water. So what we do is, and because herb, the flowers and the herbs and the roots, they get icky fairly quickly. So what we do is we make the essential oils and the water and the alcohol that we put into Florida water. And we make that up first. It does look like tea, but don't drink it. Um, and then when we get ready to make a bottle, because we're working on witch boxes tonight. Shadow is our resident witch box expert. In fact, she came up with this idea because y'all know I don't have the time or the patience but I live through everybody else I wanted one yeah she wanted one so she decided to make one so then we take the Florida water mixture here you heavy on the pink roses today I'm, I'm feeling love you know <laughs> and um and we put that into we put the oils into the little bottles and those go into the witch boxes as well um this does not go into the witch box, but it's here for inspiration and uh, other purposes. <laughs> the magical pipe. <laughs> so, did you ever figure out what poke root did? Because I forgot. Uh-uh. Anyway, it's, it's got to be protection, though, because we've got all this stuff in here for protection. Um, we had comfrey around here somewhere. So now I got to go look up poke root because nobody here. Oh, Damiana tea. She says she drinks Damiana tea. Okay. Okay. Oh, I want to tell you all about this lotion. What does, does what does Damiana tea do? What is its medicinal purpose? Does it make you poop? Does it make you hallucinate? Um, CC. So tell me about Damiana and what it does, because I like I'm I'm going to at some point here. Let's put oh some of this crap back. With red lamp oil, y'all. When y'all want to make things go fast, will you toss that over there and put the, the hurricane back over there? Because you know we gonna break that shit. And then there's going to be glass everywhere. And then the cats are going to try to get in it. And then, you know, ill. Um, but anyways, I want to tell you all. Oh, I got to put that wanga back on my altar. But I'll do that off camera. Um, this is um, some really good lotion that my cousin, she's a straight, late Christian. You know, she will never smoke weed for any reason. Known to man. Although she had cancer and she really needed weed. But this helped her. She had, um, you know, when you do surgery, they sometimes make you lay on your side. She laid on her side for 10 hours. And it uh, caused atrophy in her hands. But she got this lotion. And she said, this is her weed lotion. I'm like, it's hemp. And, and it take, took away the pain in her hand. And I'm going to be really honest with you. Oh, Damiana, aphrodisiac, give me a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I've been sleeping on that. Man, I be passionate. I really probably don't need to be any hornier than I already am. <laughs> but why not? You only live once. There's a reason why they call this the fucking forties, you all, because you will you will have sex with a twenty year old, and you just be like, just don't talk, just don't talk, just don't don't talk, just just love me. <laughs> it's 
shadows just over here trying to ignore everything that's coming out of my mouth. Because <laughs> I, I would, might be, maybe a little intoxicated. So anyways, so let me tell you a little bit about this, um, the hemp oil uh, in this. It, if you have arthritis, like, get go figure, y'all. I got arthritis in my middle finger of my left hand. <laughs> and for all of you witches, no. I and, and I smoked for years. I smoked cigarettes, and honestly, I think that's where it came from, just because of the way I held my cigarette. When I and I always smoked outside because I had a child. You know, after I quit smoking when I was pregnant, but being without a job and frustrated, I started smoking again. But I quit again. I quit again because of uh, for voodoo. So um, now I only like will smoke if it's you know required by whatever ritual I'm doing. But other than that. Not not cigarettes anyway, um, and so I think as a result of smoking cigarettes all these years and holding my finger in that position, and I don't know, it's it hurts really bad. I can't even hit my hand on something without it hurting. But this stuff right here will take away the pain. We have it in pomegranate. We have it in lemon. Uh, um, no pineapple. So if you have body pains, aches and pains, this is really good too. Like if you start working out, cause you know, all y'all going back to the gym for two weeks <laughs> next in January. Right. If you make it that long, <laughs> I did it once. I wasted so much money on a health, uh, a a health club too. membership, like $500 easy before I was like, okay, I'm done. Wasn't even no fucking contract. And I'm still paying every month. Like I'm going to go, but needless to say, y'all going to go to the gym and you're going to hurt. This is available on Amazon. Get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Emma, exactly. Um, Damiana, is good for that? Oh, wow. You know what I want to do? And, ooh, that would be an excellent thesis for, like, if I went, because I'm thinking about going to Ohio State to get my PhD in African and African American Studies. And I know it's going to be around African religion in some shape or form or way. But I was thinking that we could look at African magic and, you know, y'all okay? Don't you over there? I was just, we got, you got extras? There's nothing wrong with extras. But we only did eight of each. You only did eight of each? Well, there's something working out. Y'all better count that fucking, look at me tell If I get one more person, come on, I'm missing a root. Okay. So, in any case, I'm thinking about getting my PhD. I have my master's degree in, in literature with a concentration in black literature. Yeah. Who's here? Amber. Amber Starr is here. Hold on. Uh, Tiffany's about to come over. Did, did, did Amber get to meet Tiffany? Was Tiffany at the... Tiffany, Tiffany yeah, was at the last... Was yes. In that one. The Just last circle we thing. had. Yeah. So, 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 Shadow's always here. Um, <laughs> and Star is here. And, uh, and the child's in the kitchen working on... I made Christmas gift for her boyfriend that at probably the 12th hour, she's going to be like, let's go buy something. <laughs> and you haven't, but it's Christmas, and it's kind of like, but she does. My daughter is one of those people like me. Oh, my God, she is her mother's child, works best under pressure. Don't let me have a lot of time to do something, because then I'm like, give me five minutes to do something. I'm going to get that shit together. What's wrong? Are we she having this just off. She's missing one, and I got an extra. So okay, y'all better have to start over. <laughs> we have. Okay, but my question to you is this. Why are you bagging them all like that? Why don't you bag all the same ones? No, so that way when it came that, time to make the when, when the box come, I'll go. I understand that, but that's a basic box. So you're still going to have to, like, say somebody orders an extra large. All you have in there is for the small. You still gonna have to make bags for the custom orders. Then I'll add it to this. See, no, no that's, that's, I'm telling you, uh, that's not proper uh, supply chain, um, <laughs> machine line, you know, assembly line way of doing things. No, 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 no. Like, for example, this is what I would do because I'm anal, but I'm gonna tell you it's gonna take a long time to set up, but it's going to be more efficient for you in the future. If you ever try to organize something like this, because we're trying to do the roots for the witch boxes, you put all of the same types of roots in each bag. Then you put a marker, a piece of tape or something That's to color code what blue. kind of bag that it goes into. <laughs> so say, for example, your color for extra large is blue. Oh, Damiana's toxic. Kind of like um, Tonka beans. But anyways, so say, for example, like like what we do, we have like small, medium, large, extra large. So we have, no, I'm talking, I'm on Facebook, shut up. So in any case, we have four different types of um oh poke root poke root is toxic well like i said i ain't fucking with a poke root I'm, I'm, i forgot what it does i have to go back and look at one of my correspondences it's been a while since i used it 
um, not one of the things I use more often, but learning something about a particular herb and roots properties, both medicinal okay. and magical, mm -hmm. will help you use it more. So if you've got some things on your shelf that people use, but you don't necessarily use, it's probably always a good idea on crossing and protection. Thank you. I went through that whole list, and it was the only one I couldn't rattle off to start. Tricky used to be able to do that. Because when we worked at the voodoo store, mm -hmm. you could ask this child what a root did, and she actually knew. I wonder if I could ask her that now. You know, these rebellious teenagers. It's like, come, practice witchcraft with me. And they're like, oh, no. <laughs> what, what is that? I wish somebody had come to me when I was 15, 16 years old. Come, on, come and practice witchcraft. It's so much fun. You know, <laughs> let's worship the horned god. <laughs> you know? I'm like, you know, most kids... Well, you know, I'm going to tell you something about this. And, and unfortunately, this is the church again. Most white children would be like, fuck yeah, let's do this, man. <laughs> Black kids, little Negro children, they'd be like, fuck you talking about, Willis? And I'm going to tell you why. Like I said, the church has just scared the hell out of us. And it's something about the colonial mentality of white folks that they will um, jump up and and take they go straight from ancestors okay. to goetic demons okay it's, it's something mentality. about the culture or the mentality no, it's not. black folks on the other hand have been taught to fear the very gods goddesses and spirits that we come from because i was watching this thing yeah they it did the church did a complete number on us because i was watching this thing where this white guy was walking around la and he was giving homeless people money but he was doing it through magic tricks you should have seen how scared some of these people were. Oh, no. <laughs> this motherfucker just, poop, here's $20. They're like, bitch, I want that. this one dude was walking away from him in the street. He was like, what, how you do that? Where they come from? Where, you know, you and, and you noticed you got the most visceral reactions. There weren't that many. Mm -hmm. They weren't that many uh, white people, actually, in the video, you know. There were, this was L.A., they were homeless. But the one white dude that he did it for he's like this is it was i think a whole cup of change came up out of a coffee cup and the white dude was like this is motherfucking magic he was like oh hold on to it now <laughs> any one of our folks they go see it like ah and throw the damn coins every damn where there's some there's a problem with this so you know it's really important for all of us who are coming back to our ancestral practices Let's do this shit right. Um, let our children and their children see the effects of what this magic can do for your life. Because my daughter may not practice. She may not even believe. But she has seen what spirit can do. She, we sit in a house that spirit showed us what they could do if you ask them. So, my thing about belief is, I'm a big skeptic. You know what? I need to find the plug or my phone will die. Is my phone still, is this still plugged into power? No. Can you, why you not always unplug my shit? You don't care. You don't care. I need a plug. Okay, I can get, there's a plug in my desk. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You went in my door and got the cord? I unplugged it and gave her. Why did you give her? Is that my cube? Yeah. See, if I die, if my phone die, hey, cuz, Melissa, I'm sending you four of the Ameripoly. I will send you two. I'll send you three. I'll send you an extra one when I get this shit in. Because I had to cancel the order from my one supplier because they took a month and get it from another supplier. But it's back where I was buying it from before. But yeah, I can't find shit in my own house. Look, let me tell you what I have to deal with, y'all. The 15-year-old don't usually move shit. But I already had a house full of tricks of spirits that will put my shit and, you know, I smoke, so my memory ain't what it used to be. So I always got these challenges. I got spirits, and in fact, that's how I started practicing magic, was the spirits in my home were moving things and hiding things and logging into computers and shit. And I called my photography mentors, and they just so happened to own a voodoo store, and I said, I got haints, you know, and come get these motherfuckers out of my house. Typical reaction from a black person who wasn't even in the church anymore. And when they told me, they said, you can't get rid of these spirits. These are your ancestors. These are your guardians. These are a why You got a baron following your family around. Barons are for protection and health as well as the spirits of death. 
you can't get away with them. I hear about people do this all the time. I, I'll right. tell you, I don't think I've ever heard of a black person doing this. But I've heard of white voodoo saints that have initiated and they have put their spirits away. Where did that happen at? Put them away? Yeah. Where did that happen at? Where? I don't know. Somebody else somewhere told them if you put your law away, you could just stop needing what you needed to do and it'd be all right. It's all right just to just ignore them. I wouldn't advise that if I were you. Um... Just, just say it. Man, 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 look, I couldn't time. even sleep as a <laughs> former Christian, non, nothing, scared of everything. Boo, ooh, I don't even watch horror movies. I still don't watch horror movies. <laughs> Them spirits was like, look, bitch, you finna come with us. You finna do this. You finna do that, and you're gonna like it. I'm like, well, y'all know I ain't always gonna like it. I mean, you know, but they were like, you're gonna do this. So it has never, ever a, a, a just even occurred to me, okay, that there would be a situation where I could walk away from this. I tried. Oh, Lord. Mama Star is on here. Let me tell you. Um, there there was a, you know, a time in my life where I just had gotten fed up. And that's because I concentrated on the wrong things. Uh, as far as spirituality was concerned, hey, mama, as far as root work was concerned, and I, you know, was letting the things that other people were telling me about magic and who I was and what I believed in dishearten me to the point where I didn't even want to practice anymore. I disabled this profile, and then if I woke up in the morning to my phone ringing, and Mama Star was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, what? How you know? <laughs> What you talking about? Well, his mama star was like, where's your Facebook profile? Spirit told me to look in on you and I go looking for you and I can't find you. And I said, like, because I ain't doing this shit no more. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of folks talking about I'm throwing at them and them trying to throw at me and then I have to fuck people up. I'm tired of having to do a goddamn beef tongue every week and I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. And I don't want to do this anymore. Yo, yo, yeah, she got keys. You know she lives here. Tiffany's on her way in, y'all. And Mama Star was like, <laughs> Mama Star told me, I'm on Facebook Live. Oh, hi, Mama Star told me, and I'm getting ready to get off the phone because my friend is here. Here, say hi, Tiffany. Finish the story. Hold on. Hi. The are in. Let me tell y'all something. When I lived in Chicago, I was never surrounded by this many black witches. Like, especially ones who would consistently hang and be interested. No. That's the thing. This witch in life ain't easy, and it's not something that you can just walk the fuck away from. And Mama Star was like, oh, no, 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 no. You get one day. Mama Star was like, you get one motherfucking day, and you better get whatever you gotta get out of your yeah. system. Yeah. Grieve and move on. Get the fuck up, yeah. because this is your calling. You have no choice. <laughs> And she was right. So, you know, a lot of people these days are very, very interested in voodoo and hoodoo and other ATRs. And you, no even me, who took it really, really seriously, when I have to do some of the stuff that I am requested to do by the spirits, it's like, wow. I mean, my life would be incredibly simple if I didn't. But... It would never be as awesome as it has been. So, like I said, give you know, give your kids a role model so that they're not walking around scared of spirit. Because spirit is our connection to life. Spirits are the reason why the Haitian Revolution was a success. Spirits are the reason why we were able to sustain ourselves during chattel, chattel slavery. We have been taught to fear the very thing that makes us the strongest. Our connection to oh, spirits and our creator. Down. Creator, sorry. <laughs> so that is, you know, we've been taught to fear that. We have been taught to fear greatness. Is that, is and that, that is exactly that, what I was doing that, that day that Mama Star called me and told me to get my motherfucking ass out the bed. I was so fearing greatness. Once you, and the law of attraction, all the stuff we talk about in magic, this shit matters. Once you put yourself in the mind of I'm going to do this and nothing's going to stop me, nothing can stop you. 
most of the time the reason why we don't accomplish things and don't do the shit that we were supposed to do with our life and you better find your purpose that's what happened to people who are uncertain of their purpose or their purpose a lot of artists their purpose is too heavy they didn't really even know this was for them but if you don't find it you don't embrace it in a positive manner you will die because you will have a miserable life and you'll die spiritually long before you ever leave this earth. So find your purpose. Not everybody can be a root worker. God knows. I'm like the biggest skeptic. Y'all, they t I tell them all this. I don't believe shit. Okay. I wouldn't even say grace over my food no more. I was just like, Ugh. yeah, right. But this is one of those things. If you're from the show me state. I can show you some shit. I can show you some physical, material shit that comes from this work. But it is at a cost. It is at a cost of obedience. You don't get to be Gnostic nothing or Gnostic voodoo. Look, if you want to be in a faith, practice its rules. Voodoo has a regular mind, a whole set of rules you got to follow. You can't just be out here winging this shit. So, if you're going to be for real, be for real. Well, I don't care what you practice. I think it's all beautiful. It all comes from West African religion, West African voodoo. But, don't half-step. My mama, like, she tells you from the jump, don't, I don't want you half-steppers. Because this is something that's going to improve your life, but it, you're going to have to pay for it. And that's why they call it work. Anyways, it's party time. Wine and weed o'clock. Hi, y'all. <laughs>